the Senior Open and the Senior PGA Championship, which, which are the, the two biggest tournaments that you can find in Europe. That was pro golfer Jean Van de Velde, one of the more popular athletes to play at the Tucson Conquistadores Classic and the runner-up of the 2000 Touchstone Energy Tucson Open. Van de Velde is currently playing in the Senior British Open and I had the chance to interview him at his home in Mexico City before he headed off to Europe for the Open. Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Calla. More with Jean Van de Velde in a bit. But first, let's head on out to the Senior British Open Championship in Sunningdale, Berkshire, England. Here's Darren Clark sinking the long birdie. He'd finish in a tie for the lead at 500 with that guy alongside James Kingston. And a favorite among Tucsonans, Jean Van de Velde would finish round one, shooting a respectable 75. And before he was in the senior tour, Van de Velde is known for narrowly missing a British Open title in 1999, falling in a playoff. It's been fun to follow his career since he was at the Tucson Conquistadores Classic in 2017. That is where Jean Van de Velde met his future wife, Giovanna Tucsonan. The two would have wedding ceremonies in his native France and his wife's hometown of Magdalena, Sonora, Mexico, just a two-hour drive from Tucson. I caught up with him in Mexico City. Playing in any kind of open championship, uh, including the senior, is always, you know, you feel very privileged. Describe what it means for you to, to have played with the Tucson Conquistadores. Uh, you know, that's where basically I secure my, my tour card the first time that I, that I came in 2000, uh, when it was a, a PGA Tour tournament where I finished second. Then I came down many, many years later uh, to play in the, in, the, in the senior Conquistadores. Uh, and this is where I met you and this is where I met my wife as well. So it's, uh, it's a very, very special place for me. Jean Van de Velde at his home in Mexico City the night before he headed to Europe for the Senior British Open. Thanks again, my friend. All right, moving on to the Olympics. There are two former UVA softball players on the Team Mexico squad. Taylor McQuillan and Danielle O'Toole, our border neighbors from the south, fell in extra innings against mighty Japan. And the Olympic broadcast ended after our 10 p.m. newscast. So we didn't get any highlights in yesterday, but Hey, we can now, and what a performance it was for O'Toole, the former Wildcat. She'd pitch eight complete innings in the 3-2 loss and extra innings to the world power. And no doubt, Arizona legendary softball coach Mike Candrea will be proud of her effort, recording 22 outs on just 91 pitches, including two strikeouts. Mexico will play USA next on Friday in a matchup that is going to include former Arizona standout catcher Deja Molipola with the United States against the other former Wildcats, O'Toole and Taylor McQuillan with Mexico. Hey, finally, props go out to both Nogales Little League and Continental Ranch Little League. Both advanced all the way to the championship series in the 50-70 Little League bracket for kids 13 and under. And I went down just a few blocks away from the U.S.-Mexico border in Nogales. Coming into the series, Continental Ranch Little League had swept through the postseason unbeaten, but standing in their way, the home team and powerhouse Nogales, who had to win two games in a row, battling through the loser's bracket to overcome Continental Ranch. And that's exactly what happened. Went 14 and 0 during the season. Um, really, just having a ton of fun. Focus for me is just let the kids play. You know, win or lose, we love them either way. That's the bottom line with this squad. I just expect them to go out, play hard, and leave it all on the field. Well, I got a tough group of uh, players here. Uh, they're uh, very, I think, very good players at, at their position. So. Certainly, so congrats to both squads making it that far and quickly. One of the best point guards of all time at the U of A. Jason Gardner has been hired on Coach Tommy Loy's staff. Gardner is the now the uh, news the uh, director of player relations for the University of Arizona basketball team. We have more on KVOA.com. That's it for now. I'm Paul Cicala for News 4 Tucson Sports. We'll be right back.